Hey, you cool cats and kittens out there. It's Von Baden back with another tutorial for you. I hope that everyone is doing well with uh, quarantine Groundhog Day number 5 million and one. I'm losing my mind too. Today we're going to talk a little bit about my chainmail breastplate and uh, what I use to create this. This will be going on a piece of armor that will go with the gauntlet, the um, pauldron or pauldrons. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. The shoulder armor. Um, and I wanted something that would be very flexible and could fit with all of that and all of that is going with my illusion that I'm working on uh, called the throne of Erebus uh, when it's all said and done I'll be wearing the armor I have the crown and all that fun stuff and um, the character of course is the king sitting on the throne and the effect will be pretty much this. Without being covered at all, I'll sit down on the throne. There'll be a countdown or something along them lines. And I will vanish into thin air right in front of your eyes without being covered. How about that? Is that amazing? I think that's amazing. I don't know. I've had a lot of sugar today, so pardon me. Anyways, we're not here to talk about my magic. We're not talking about any of that stuff. We're here to talk about this chain mail. Now, I did a video prior to this, um, I don't know, maybe six months ago, maybe a year ago. I can't really remember. Where I made handmade chain mail. It was cool, don't get me wrong, but very time consuming and after a while your fingers start to hurt and cramp up and all that fun stuff and I just you know will I attempt it again maybe you know down the line it's not really something that I'm set on doing but drifting off so what I done here is I made a piece of chain mail that will look like a shirt and what I'll do is I will have velcro on the inside that won't be visible to person because the armor will overlap on that. Now, what this is made of is, actually, I'll give you a little closer look of it. Unfortunately, in this light, you can't really tell. It just looks shiny. It is actually, maybe if I compare, show you what I used and you compare the two, and you'll see. Right now, this is not grunged up but it's very faint to be able to tell the difference in this lighting, unfortunately. Let me see if I change the lighting, if that might help a little bit. I don't know. We'll find out. Well, that's a little bit better. But this is painted um, silver metal, and this, of course, is not. This is very cheap, and you can get this at Walmart, line your um, cupboards with it, or underneath a dish drainer or whatever, uh, prevent shimmy shimmy shakes. Shimmy shimmy shake? Oh, sorry. Anyways, um, so that I used, a chunk of that, and I had, I don't, I don't believe this is true leather. It's more of um, an upholstery type leather, but I had some extra material and it has this really cool grain look on it. <clears throat> and I used that as well. Now, this is seven inches this way and nine inches this way. 
and all I did was first of all I painted the chain mail with the silver and then I basically sewed the rest of this together around um, around it to hold it in place it's not going anywhere and gives it a little bit more stability plus now the real fun can begin I get to grunge this up um, and I'll do a video for that on how I make my stuff look grungy but I'll do some blacks and browns on this definitely do some um, staining on the leather pleather all kinds of weather I don't know I'm, I, I don't rhyme very well it's not my Not my forte. But anyways, grunge this all up. Get the Velcro on it. I am working on the armor. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, you've seen pictures of that part. And then I will be getting stuff put together um, shortly. And then you'll see how all this fits together. And with the crown. And the sword that I'm going to make all of this fits with that character and that illusion so it's a very important thing for me and probably all magicians but it, it's my process at least um, when I'm making something that's specifically staged stage illusion and is a certain type of character I want to make sure that it's it all fits together which is an entirely different video on going on theming and putting your stuff together but anyways so I wanted I wanted something to, I just didn't want a guy in a, in a jacket sitting down on the crown of Erebus and be like, hey, I'm gone. Just wouldn't feel right. So, you know, he's king, got a crown. And then I had to think, okay, what's this king wearing? I don't want to be that one. It's a different type of magic show, and I don't do those often. Just stays in anyway. Uh, no, no, I don't do that at all for those people that have kids that are now like, yeah, we're not calling him. Uh, yeah, I don't do those. I was, I was kidding. Joke, joke, time out, joke. Anyways, so very simple build and looks really good. And once I add the armor, it'll look even better. And then. I was thinking about maybe doing some scraggling pieces of chain mail here and there off of it, you know, maybe in the shoulder joint and stuff like that. But we'll decide when we get closer to that part. So, quick little video. I'm trying to make these a little bit shorter so you guys can watch all the videos you've been saying I want to watch while I have time. Well, now you have time. So, anyways, so we'll do it updated video once I do all the grunge in and battle damage and worn and torn and all that stuff on this. If this is your first time to the Cat King, King of Cats, I don't know. I, no, I'm not those either. If this is your first time to, um, your first time here to my channel. Give this video a big ol' thumbs up. There you go, thumbs up. That, no, no, this, yes. And hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon. That way you know when I post new material, new content coming up on this channel. And I will see you on the very next video. Thanks. I don't know what I'm
Trump's supposed to do? Oh, yeah. <laughs>